Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Two Hands in a Radio. We've had two or three really disappointing radios this past week, so now we need to, to not be disappointed. And we are going to look at an oldie, but oh, it, it's so cool. Um, this is going back to... I really don't know a manufacturer date on it. I can get back to 1993, 1992, somewhere around in there. Um, early 90s is, is about all the data I have on this. It's the Grundig Traveler 2 7-band travel radio. And I know there's a lot of people out there that own the Grundig G8 Traveler 2. But this is, it. and there are some that have the Grundig Traveler 2 PE. But this was even before all that, the Grundig Traveler 2. Cute little travel radio, obviously, by the name. And I picked this up on eBay. It was dirty and that scary uh, listing of... It's untested. I don't know how to use it. I don't know how to test it. Uh, that's code for it doesn't work. And this little guy said at $24.50 and nobody bought it. And in the listing it said that they do pick up some FM stations and AM stations. And that's it. The other is nothing. They don't know how to do it. Okay, well, if nothing else, we have an AM, FM radio. That's good. And we have some features to this that are really... The cool factor of this radio is just amazing. And so I grabbed it. And it came in. And I thought, you just need to be cleaned up a little bit. And I spent some time and cleaned a little bit. And Q-tipped here and there. And just carefully fixed it up. And I played with this last night just blew me away what a neat little radio and i just want to share it with everybody so you're looking at it and you're saying two hands well what's so special about this i don't get it well it's a travel alarm clock and along with being a shortwave radio we have the neatest feature that i think this radio has this little flap that drops down we have all the time zones down here. They can, you can, if you're really intelligent, you can figure all this stuff out. Uh, you know, like uh, Nairobi is maybe two hours ahead of us, maybe tomorrow or something or yesterday. I don't know, whatever that all is. But then we have this switch right here. Well, the, all of this in here is is the clock features. And we've got our uh, a reset button there if it gets all jumbed up. Jumbed up. There's a new word. Um, minute button. Uh, home and world. Okay. So when you flip from home and world, it shows you the world clock down here. This is your world time, and then your home time is bigger. So you can flip that around if you want. Um, alarm buttons here. And then this, this dial right here with all these city names on it. And what's interesting is if we watch this clock, here's 304. That's our home time here. And it's set on New York now, which we're the same time as New York. If I want to know what time it is in Los Angeles, I just turn the dial. And look at that. It's, it's now 1205 in Los Angeles. In Denver, it's... 105. In Chicago, it should be 205. Uh, that's just cool. I that just that that alone's worth the price of admission to me. And of course, I I like simple things like this anyway. But that's the the clock feature. So that there's your traveler part of all this. Um, we clip the little flap shut, and we've got our on-off switch. I've searched everywhere for directions for this. Uh, I've kind of muddled through and got, you know, most of it figured out. But I don't understand 
the HWS on this and the auto. I think it has something to do with the alarm or a timer or something. I'm just not sure. And someday maybe I'll figure it all out. Doesn't seem to be really a, a factor of how the radio operates. Uh, the 12 and 24 recall is, again, it's just kind of an alarm thing or something. I don't know. I, it's beyond me. So this, this section over here is all clock. Then we've got just a small dial up here, a little analog dial, and a uh, very small speaker. On the right-hand side... Hopefully I'm all in focus here. We've got the, the slider volume switch that Grundig likes to use. And there's that. Nice tuning knob there. And on the back side, we've got oh, just a vent here for maybe some, some bass response. I don't know. Our handy flap. We've got uh, our frequency ranges, our standard AM, FM stuff. Uh, the shortwave goes from really a short short range it goes from 5.8 to 15.6 megahertz so there's not a whole lot of whole not a lot not a whole lot of room with this and of course the bottom's nothing the battery is i already went ahead and like i said i put batteries in it obviously because the clock works little battery doors here i want to make sure and be really careful with that and then on this side, we've got a headphone jack or DC, a 3-volt DC adapter uh, plug, which isn't included. And we come back to the front end. And I'll, I'll bring out our little handy little thing. Oh, and it's got a 22-inch antenna. And it fully rotates. I did, uh, I tightened, there's a screw in the back here that you can tighten ever so slightly because the the antenna was just kind of a floppy thing and uh, I've tightened that up so it, it stands up a little bit better and it does like I said it fully rotates now it did before but it would just kind of flop over and uh, so let's just let's just give this thing a little bit of a cruise here and see on the top of it which I didn't show you the top it's got your band selector, FM, medium wave, AM broadcast, one, two, three, four, five, short wave. Standard stuff, really. But anyway, I played with this thing last night. I, I just, curiosity, I just wanted to see what would happen. And uh, it were really, for, for as small as it is, and as small a speaker as it is, it really is. I was impressed. Short wave reception just on this telescopic antenna. The propagation is not good. We are, are rapidly approaching a solar minimum, which means things are really going to get bad. And with Brother Stare off the air, there's not a lot of reference material to, to uh, find. And, and so there's a lot of dead air out there, just nothing but static. And this, I picked up several stations, uh, you know, right where we would think uh, nighttime was, was there was activity below 10 megahertz. Uh, today, hopefully we see a little more activity above 10 megahertz. Um, you know, we'll just try it out here and see. Anyway, enough of my rambling. The on switch is just over here. You kick it to on and it's on. I thought it was neat that it, it flashes tuning up here. And then when you find something, it locks in and stops. This, this satisfies certain uh, requirements and, and grades those communities. The best thing is the state. These communities are regulated by the state. And this is on FM. Memory care, skilled nursing. It's really got a, a good sound for how small it is. I'm Amanda Carroll. Thank you for sending in your monthly pledge. Okay. Plus giving you knives. Don't offer, uh, offer that. Did she just mention Ginsu knives? <laughs> I don't want to hover too long on music. OK, 
Okay, let's go to medium wave. We'll work our way backwards now. Keeping in mind it's three in the afternoon. There's our local station. Uh, last night it pulled in quite a few stations um, on AM broadcast at night. It's probably 700, I suppose, Cincinnati. There's that. And let's take a look at our short wave and start all the way at the top, because that's where the most activity will probably be. What I've done is, is we're on the telescopic antenna. We have to remind or remember that. But I have shut off all the computers, routers, all the interference that I can figure out I've shut off. And let's just see what we can do here on this. There's Radio Havana, Cuba, 15140. It's a line pretty good if you ask me. There's 15 megahertz. So it can go well below where the scale is. It can go above and below that scale. There's 15 megahertz on a telescopic antenna. Pretty darn good if you ask me. Let's move on. Go kind of fast so we don't bore people to death. Hoping we could pick WWV up, but oh, did I hear the click? Do I hear it right there? I think I hear it. Ten megahertz. Come on, say at the tone so we can hear you. Well, there you go. Oh, well, that was worth the wait. I don't know. Now we're getting into the 41 meter, which is probably going to be at night, I would say. Uh, that is amateur radio. If we had single sideband on this, we could actually dial them in. We'll keep going. Okay. We're at the last of it now. Yeah, not much, not much at 318 way down here. How cool is that? I just, man, 
yeah I don't know if it works you know to oh it, it, you know and here is my I don't know how many eBay sellers we have out there um, or if you if you ever think gosh I want to sell something on eBay or whatever here's my advice if you want to get top dollar learn how to use what you're selling and clean it up I guarantee if this person could have spent 10 minutes cleaning it up not even 10 minutes I mean I've spent more than that but you know, I'm picky um, spend 10 minutes cleaning it up and just learn how to flip the on switch on and if you can get AM and FM stations then you know enough how to operate the rest of the radio you would have got a lot more than $24.90 guaranteed um, I would have paid more for it and uh, but anyway that's just my that's just my thing for for eBay sellers take a little extra time and it doesn't have to be a radio if it's a camera or a computer or whatever you know we don't want to see your your skin flakes all over the keyboard clean it off okay I've ran it enough and and that's turned into in, into a different show I guess or something anyway what a neat radio this was so cool and at night this thing was so neat and so sensitive and and is it a uh, is it an ICOM IC7300 no you know it's not a $1400 radio it's it's a $25 radio uh, but the the cool factor with this and I can dial in and and see what time it is will I ever use it probably not um, you know, I, I really have my doubts. But it's cool that you can flip over and and it shows you where the date line is down here. Oops, I'll pick it up. But just like here, we're going to Dubai. And it's 1221 in Dubai, which with a date line right there, I'm going to say that means, and it says AM, so it would be 1221 tomorrow in Dubai. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Um, or it's 1221 a.m. yesterday in Dubai. I don't know how that works. But anyway, like I said, I'll probably never use it. But it's there. I think it's just really the cool factor is, is neat. And it's one you don't see every day either. Um, if you could... Uh, if you can find you one of these the right price, I'd recommend it. A great little... It's got a good sound to it. The speaker is... Is... Uh, oh, inch and three quarters the most. Tiny little speaker, but it's got good sound to it. And, uh, you know, there's no automatic much to it at all. Uh, just all old-fashioned manual stuff and uh, I, it's just cool I'm sorry I get excited with the stuff anyway I'll stop now if you like this video give it a big thumbs up um, if you like the channel um, hit the subscribe button I try to try to do new radio or not new but a different radio Monday Wednesday and Friday and I'll throw in, there may be some super secret content on Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, I know yesterday we had a, 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 oh, a comparison test and, and like that. And, you know, different things. But uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday for sure. So if you subscribe and turn notifications on, it'll tell you anytime we have a new video out. Um, and I, I say we because I include you folks in on all that. Um, the share button. If you like a video, share it on your Facebook or Tweeters or, or Twatters or, or Instagrammables and all that stuff, that social stuff. Share away. And, uh, and then if you really, really, really like the channel, and you'd like to help the channel, there is a donation button down in the description there. There's a little link that you can help through PayPal. 
Um, all that money uh, generated goes to buying new little radios like this. So with that, I'll quit passing the hat. And I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you enjoy this. If you get a chance, you don't find these very often. If you get a chance, pick one up. Well worth playing with, that's for sure. And with that, we're going to see you at the next review.